Hello everybody, this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to The Simple Quilter. Today's episode is number six in my organizational series and today we're going to be looking at how to store things like uh, fusible interfacing, your thermoweb or Inselbrite, all those things. And I have a tub here that hides underneath my quilt table and we're going to take a look at what's in that. Now, before we go any further, the two panels behind me are panels that I put up there that I hope to be working on in the near future, but I put them up there just because I needed some inspiration, and I'm hoping that I'll come up with an idea on what to do with each of those. But Okay, before we go any further, I have to show you this right down here. Now, my granddaughter came to visit this weekend, and she loved doing this. She loved just putting scraps up on my design wall. And uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut shapes out of felt and just have a box where she can put felt shapes up here and start designing her own quilts. Now, yes, she is only two, but you can't ever start too early, right? Okay, so this tub hides in a little cubby that's underneath my quilt table. It's out of the way, but I do have to get in it and on I do have to get into it on occasion. This holds my fusible interfacings, my um, fusible webs. Uh, it holds a lot of other things too, but I, I've got to clean it out because when I go to get something in it, I'm just digging, digging, digging. And as I keep telling you all, I am not one that likes to dig. So, um, I'm going to show you a few things that are in here, then I'm going to take everything out and show you how I'm thinking of organizing this. Okay, now this, this, was, an imp this was a good thing that I did. Now this is, I wasn't really for sure what this was, but I had the receipt in the bag. And this is woven fusible white interfacing and what this is for this is a good product for when you're doing t-shirt quilts so this that's that um just a clear bag so there's going to be some trash in here i need to get rid of i ran across uh an information sheet for one of my rulers so i'm going to re put that in my ruler thing now I ran across this really cool quilt pattern. It's called uh, Glory Bound. Now, what I think, the reason I think I put this in here because I think down in the bottom and throughout this whole box there are half square triangle papers. So I'm gonna put this down there. Now these, this is just some flannel, I think, some sort of material that I made a little project with. Um, this is, uh, mug rug shapes, double sided interfacing. And I really want to get this out and use this. Now the neat thing about going through your stuff is you really discover things that you purchased and you had great ideas for projects, but we just get so many ideas we forget what we had. So that was fun. So I do have some um, things that I want to make some little mug rugs out of. This is kind of neat. This is a Quilt As You Go inspirational mug mats. And it's already pre-cut it's kind of like foundation piecing I think but it's quilt as you go so that was kind of a neat thing that was in here now this is uh, a fusible fleece and the reason I know that is because on one side it's kind of bumpy and that's the fusible stuff but also I had a uh, receipt in there that told me what it was and then also right here. You don't ever take these little papers off when you purchase stuff like this because this is Pellon Fusible Fleece. And that is, uh, you think you're going to remember what these things are, but you really don't because I didn't remember. And, um, well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe you have a fantastic memory, but I really struggle with that. So, uh, when you purchase something, think about putting that receipt in there because it's really helped me to identify some of this. This is an easy angle to ruler, so I need to put that with my rulers. 
Oh, that's just some squares. Some transfer ease, some heat and bond. Oh, this is my Oli fun. But see, I need to do something with that. That's just not a good way to store it. It just comes unraveled and it's just a mess. Transfer ease, more ultra bond. Oh my goodness, this is old stuff. But I really don't think it has an expiration date, so I will just reorganize that and put that in here. Oh my gosh, that was elastic for making masks. Ultra Bond Super Ham. Oh, this is that ham tape. Oh gosh, I thought that was floral tape. Good thing that they had that thing on there. Uh, this is more of that fusible fleece and I just know because it has that stuff. Now see here's the piece and there's no instructions um, so that's why you want to keep those things. There's some Insel Bright. Oh gosh, Thangles. One, two, three, four, five. Six packages of Thangles. No wonder I put that pattern in here. Six packages of three and a half finished finished papers. Yes, three and a half finished triangle papers. Oh my gosh. Laundry basket, two inch finished half square triangle papers. Here's a cake mix recipe. I think I have more of these somewhere. Oh, pineapple quilt block foundation paper. Ooh, that would make a pretty um, two color quilt, like just a blue and white or red and white. Hmm. Something. I don't think it's fusible. Well, anyway, these look like fusibles. Fabra Flare Stabilizer. Medium weight. Never used it. Don't remember what I was going to use that for. But I, that is something I will keep. Hell on. Here's more fusible fleece. So I need to get all those together. Uh, a roll of heat and bond ultra hole freezer paper. Oh, now these are old. But just because they're old doesn't mean they're not good. Now these are tablets of half square triangle papers. Oh, I've made quilts out of these. These are so much fun and they give you such accurate results. I, I need to do a project with these. Now see, this is what looking through all your stuff does. It just helps you come up with ideas on how to use this. I don't know if I'll ever remember the real reasons I bought it in the first place, but, or, you know, the ideas I had in mind way back then, but it does. I mean, I could make some just beautiful quilts with this. This would be a good way to help use up scraps, to make scrap quilts, and there are hundreds of designs that you can, uh, quilt designs that you can use uh, half square triangle papers for. Okay, and then down in the bottom it looks like I have template plastic and a few templates. Oh gosh, those are old too, but I'm gonna, I will probably just leave those in the bottom and just a roll of freezer paper. Okay, so I have some strategies in mind for organizing this box and these are the tools I'm going to use. I'm going to use these little fabric clips that you'll see on fabric bolts. I'm going to use a Sharpie marker. I've collected some paper towel tubes. Now these are toilet paper tubes. Now these are paper towel tubes. One of my friends gave me those because my others accidentally got thrown away. And then I pulled out my cardboard for folding. I'm not sure how I'm going to store the fusible fleece and all. So I have this here. Now I'm going to work on this a little bit, but I'll be back in just a little bit to show you some other ideas that I've come up with or show you which ideas I'm going to put in place here. Okay, so the first strategy, my first 
strategy is to just put all the stuff that needs to lay flat in the bottom. So in the bottom is my template plastic, all of my half square triangle papers, my heat and bond, that, heat and bond that's in the packages, my transfer ease, the stabilizer paper, and my cake mix uh, recipe tablet. So those are going in the very bottom. And I think I'm also going to put my heat and bond that's in a roll and my Oli fun that is on a roll. Now, okay, so now this Oli fun uh, roll has been open and it was just loose and it kind of come unwound. So what I'm going to do, I left the instructions there, but I just tightened that roll up and I'm just going to use... I started to put scotch tape on here, but I'm not going to because I don't want to ruin my instructions. So I'm just going to take a piece of painter's tape and I'm just going to put that in there like that. Now, these paper towel tubes I decided to use. I didn't like how some of this was just kept coming unwound and was folded and was all messed up, so I just put these paper towel tubes. I just put this in a paper towel tube. Now, these ends, I'm a little concerned about these ends, so I have a couple toilet paper tubes here that I could put on the ends to kind of hold that. Or, I could use, uh-oh, I could just use a fabric clip and put that on there. And hold that down. But I think I kind of like the paper towel tube best. But that's an idea if you have those. That's a good way to use those. Okay. And the nice thing about this, then I just took my Sharpie marker, marker and I put stitch and tear away. Because that's what's in this roll. Then in this roll uh, was the Pellon Craft Bond. Alright, now I'm going to put my other package things in here, my mug rug, um, pieces, I'm going to set that down in there, I'm trying to get a little bit of a flat surface, I'm going to put my um, elastic back in here too. Okay, now if for those of you who saw my how I stored my fabric and rolled my fabric, I'm going to use the same principle. This is the Inselbrite. So I'm going to roll that up using the cardboard pieces that I did to roll my fabric. And I'll, link, uh, I'll put a link to that video up there if you want to go back and take a look at that. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll this up. And again, be sure those instructions are in the inside. And I'm rolling that pretty tight. See then, if I want to know what it is, I just have to pull that down and it's sensible so bright. Have the instructions. Okay, and I think I'm just going to use my fabric clips on this one. Okay, so once I have all that and I can just pull this out and that will lay just like that. Now I could have left that in there to give that some form but I just, I'm going to just store it just like that. Okay, now this is the fusible pellon fleece and I have a bunch of this but I'm going to roll it up and store it the same way and I want the instructions to be on the inside. folded over double so I didn't I did try to roll that up to a t into a tube but it just didn't it just wasn't going to work very well and then I, the tubes were going to just be too too big now see now when I go to look the instructions are right there and it will tell me what it is. 
too. Now this is all Pellon Decor Bonds, so I think I'm just going to roll these all up together. They're all labeled. They have the clips on them to keep them secure. And I'm going to put my little hem tape in here. You know, I think I'm going to store my extra paper towel tube right in there in case something else comes along I want to add into that. Well, I feel better. At least I know what all is in there. And I'm still going to have to dig some, but it's a more organized dig, should I say. And okay, so the final touch for this box is to add um, my little inventory sheet. And I put it on cardstock so it would be a little bit sturdier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and I'm going to tape that onto the top of my tub. Now, by labeling this, I know exactly what's in there. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Always leave a comment. I try to reply to each and every one. And until next time, have fun quilting.